Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your phone as a webcam in OBS Studio. Go to your browser and search for Droid Cam OBS. Now go to the OBS Studio website, not the first website. You will see this Droid Cam OBS camera. Click on this, go to download. Now from here, you choose the Droid Cam OBS setup.exe file. Select this file and it should start downloading. After you download the file, you will find it like this. Double click on it. Select yes. I agree. Next, next, and install. Now you will have to restart your OBS Studio. But before that, I want to show you one more thing. On your phone, go to your store and search for. On your phone, search for DroidCam OBS and download the app. By the way, if you want to know how to show your phone on the screen like this, you can watch this video here. Now I'll restart my OBS Studio. Now after I started OBS Studio, you can now add your phone as a webcam from here. Just click on add. Now on your phone, open Droid Cam OBS and go to sources. Click on add. You'll find a new option called Droid Cam OBS. Click on it and OK. Now I am connecting my phone to the PC using a USB cable. You can use Wi-Fi, but I will just use a USB cable in this video. Click on refresh device list. Wait for a second. I choose the USB. After that, click on activate. Now, as you can see, it has opened your phone cam and click on OK. Just like this, you can change the settings from your phone. You can change the camera you want. If I want to use the front camera, now I'll put my phone in front of me. Now, you just put your phone in front of you like this. And as you can see now, you can add your phone. Now, as you can see, I am using my phone as a webcam. You can change the properties of the webcam as you want, like, a, like any other source, just like this. Now, after you add the webcam, you can apply filters to it. Just select it and go to filters. Now, go to effects filter and click on add. You can add many options, just like, like color correction. Okay. Now, you can change the properties of the colors. You can change the contrast, the brightness. So you can add filters to the face cam. So guys, that was today's video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.